these squirrels are straight up the terminator go ahead boys take them out oh my god this is amazing uh oh phase two it looks kind of goofy looking look at the defeat oh my god even him dying was cool i don't think i could kill them all bro hey yo everyone welcome back to another terraria video we are here with the secrets of the shadows mod a very in my opinion decently sized content mod that's super underrated because when you talk about terraria modding nowadays the first thing that pops into people's heads is usually always calamity and usually only calamity and the thing is i think calamity is a great mod but i'm so sad that there's so many other great content mods like this mod that just get completely overlooked so that's what this video is here to do we might do this on a couple of other mods but yeah let's go ahead let's get into it here as you see i'm in this really really cool area in the sky this area i believe is called the planetarium as you can see it's pretty big it's a decently sized area there's a lot of loot you know it's very unique let's check out everything around here it looks really cool i love it i always love terrain generation in terraria mods i always love dungeons whatever something adding to the world to add more history and life to the world in any game honestly is something that i love especially like this area this area reminds me of like heavy starbound vibes right here but yeah let's hop into it here you know we're gonna start with weapons before we go over all the other areas because there is a couple of areas to check out mainly a little something something over here but let's check out some weapons i grabbed at least like five weapons from each class uh we're gonna go through them quickly because weapons always take up so much time in videos let's just run through these all right all right so let's start with this weapon you're looking at this weapon and you're like 48 void plus melee damage game readers what's that void bar at the top this mod adds in yeah i wouldn't really call it its own whole class it's rather just like a void meter and the meter what this is what it says on the uh, form page the final main addition of the mod is the void meter it acts as a resource similar to mana but encompassing all classes except summoner void weapons are especially powerful but void is a sparse resource and takes a long time to recharge in addition being low on void will incur several life regeneration lowering debuffs are you willing to pay the price for power so yeah yeah, you do more damage with void weapons but your void bar it goes down and once it's lower you start taking a little bit of damage you start getting some debuffs but you're trading doing more damage for it very unique feature so there you go that's what the void stuff is let's get to it we're checking out this weapon right here critical hit summon a soul of retaliation into the air every 10th void attack will release a soul in the form of a powerful laser direct melee hits permanently curse enemies for melee damage per second stacking up to 10 times damn that was a long description all right let's see it in action though let's see it in action crazy effects dope effects and look at that my void bar is already out void shock quickly losing life increasing damage taking my 200 percent holy oh look at that whoa got the little souls floating around us that's sick as hell you know i might be spoiled by seeing uh starlight river animations but a lot of mods that i've been checking out recently have been keeping up which is great animations and effects on their weapons all right next up we're checking out the zephyrus zeppelin surrounded by a ring of razor water that deals 75 percent damage let me bring in a pre hard one enemy look at this looks cool let's see it in action it's just a simple yo-yo with a little extra to it because, you know, most vanilla yo-yos, if you're not using a mod, they literally all do the same thing, except for, like, maybe one or two. So, it's always nice to have a little extra with the yo-yos. Next up, we got the Saw Flake. There's a Saw Flake that exudes a spiral of razor ice mist in every direction. Let's see this baby in action here. Ooh, this looks cool as hell. Now, I wonder how far can I throw it? Does it depend where my mouse is? Like... No, I don't think it matters at all. I don't think it matters. All right, after that, we got the North Star. Conjures polar stars that do 70% damage and explode for 210% damage. Let's go ahead. Let's bring out our hard mode enemy for this. Boom. Splintering. Why not? Ooh, it's got the, the new flail type of attack, which I definitely prefer the new flail attack over the old one. It's just way better. All right, next up, we have this irradiated chain reactor. This does some void damage. Charges to increase damage up to 500%. Launches out spores that deal 50% damage that sounds strong let's see it in action let's bring in uh i don't know let's bring in some zombie elves sure why not oh look at it it's charging back oh what a cool animation that's sick as hell 
and it does good damage too because those are pretty late hard mode enemies and last but not least just because i saw this item and it looked funny crusty baguette killing enemies will drop baguette crumbs pick up baguette crumbs to increase the range and damage of your baguette and heal lost life surrender is not an option hell no let's bring in some enemies and hit them with this now look at this look at it it's like a spear <laughs> it's like a spear and it barely does damage man this is a hard weapon to use <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, let's move on to our next weapons. We gotta go. We gotta get going here. I'm speeding through these. Arc light orbs. Throw a cluster of thunder orbs that explode in a chain lightning for 80% damage. Let's see them. Ooh, I like these. I like these. There has not been like an effect or an animation on a weapon that I have disliked so far. All right, next up, the pathogen regurgitator. Fires pathogen balls. Hits may infect enemies for 12 damage per second. When an infected enemy is killed, it releases more pathogen balls. Let's see it. Let me put my balls in their jaws. Ooh, this looks sick. Ooh, that's dope as hell. That's dope as hell. Let me see if I can just kill one of them and get the pathogen balls to come out. Like, do they home in? They kind of do. I, I don't know. Unless that was just like a really lucky spread. All right, next up here, we got the Skyward Blades. Arm yourself with several deadly throwing knives. Scoring a hit restores a dagger. Watch this. Obviously, that's a reference to Valorant. Shout out Jet and Valorant. Let's see it in action. We got five of them summoned. Let's bring in some spore zombies. Boom. So every time I score a hit, I keep a knife. So if I miss, I lose one. Or is it a kill? Was it a hit? Yeah, it's a hit. Very cool. Okay. In Valorant, I think you gotta kill them to reset your knives. But yeah, this is pretty sick. Like, you can just keep shooting until you run out of knives. Boom, they're gone. But it's pretty cool. I like that. All right, next up, Coconut Gun. Launches coconut cluster bombs with homing coconut milk shrapnel. Let's see it in action here. Let me put these coconuts in their jaws. <laughs> Let's see it in action. Ooh, that shit is legit. Busting coconut milk everywhere. And last but not least here, we got the train gun. Nothing to it. Look at the look at what it looks like though. Come on. If you know, you know. Let's see this baby in action. Oh yes. We are straight up shooting trains at people. Alright, we're on to the mage weapons here. Let's get to it. We're starting with this one. Arc Staff Mark II launches a massive sphere of lightning. Detonates at the end of its lifespan, doing 250% damage to low health non-boss enemies, but only 100 percent to bosses. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see it in action. Uh it says it detonates at the end. Oh, that is sick looking. Oh, look at that. That possessed the armor dropped his whole entire armor set. Nice. <laughs> Dance of death. Cast many demon sides around you. Let's see it in action. Boom. I guess spore zombies. You guys get to be the uh, enemy of the day. That looks sick as hell. When I see like the black and green colorway, that always reminds me of the uh, plague bringer Goliath from uh, Calamity. It's a cool colorway. Black and green. That goes great together. All right, Apocalypse releases green thunder towards your cursor. Green thunder chains off enemies for 90% damage. Provides a light source while in the inventory. That's cool. Power straight from the underworld. Let's see it in action here. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. All right, next up, Putrid Eye. You want Death Ray? We have Death Ray. Let me see this. I like how it moves. Look how the eyeballs move. That's sick. Love when uh, furry weapons have animations or any, honestly, any item. We're switching it up. We're bringing in a spectral gastropod from Consolaria. All right, let's see this in action. Okay, I see him. I see him. This is literally like an eyeball shooting at death ray. That's awesome. All right, we got the code corruptor. That is a lot of reading. Let's just see it in action. <laughs> we just want to see it in action. Watch this. We are literally shooting codes at motherfuckers. Feels like I'm putting them in the matrix. That's sick as hell. And I'm assuming like the numbers, they mean something if you want to read all this. Sick weapon, cool passive. I just read the passive. Trust me, I, I actually did. Last but not least, the summoner weapons. You know, I love me some summoner weapons. Let's get to it. Uh, Let me bring in some weaker enemies here. We got our first one here though, the Terminator Acorns. Summons a mechanically modified squirrel to fight for you. Oh yes. These squirrels are straight up the Terminator. They got the jetpack. They got the guns. It's about to go down. Let's see them in action here. Go ahead, take out these zombies for me, boys. Oh, are those shotguns? Are they shooting in bursts? Let me see it one more time. 
I think they shoot like two or three shots. All right, next up, we got the Book of Virtue. Shout out my Binding of Isaac players. And shout out specifically Bethany. Because I know Bethany starts with this item. I'm pretty sure you can get the book on anybody, though. Summons a Spectral Wisp that defends you from nearby enemies. The Wisp does 75% damage on contact with enemies and 100% with its laser. All right, let's bring in a bunch of them. This is legit an Isaac run right here. And then let's bring out some zombies. So they attack normally. That's cool. And then we could actually do contact damage, uh, which is also pretty cool. Nice little wombo combo. All right, next up, we got Lamegaton. I don't know how to pronounce that. Lamegaton? Lamegaton? Lem Maybe it's fancy. Maybe it's like French or something. I don't know. You gotta say it like that. Summons a horde of wisps to defend you from nearby enemies. Red wisp will attack closer enemies and steal life. Green wisp will fire short range blasts. And purple wisp launch a cluster of homing bolts. Okay, so this seems like a stronger book of virtues, which is cool. Maybe this is in Isaac and I don't know. I have I played a good bit of uh, repentance. And speaking about repentance, I do want to do some repentance on the channel. Honestly, I wanted to do videos of me playing the uh, tainted characters for the first time yeah let's see it in action cool that was one of them can we see the other ones okay that was the red one and then the purple one no the purple one there we go sick that's a dope summon i love the creativity behind it next up i believe this is a century summons a void space cell on your cursor that releases flames at nearby enemies grants stat boosts while in the radius of the cell void regen increase by four yeah, yeah, yeah we get a bunch of stuff all right let's see it in action here so wherever my mouse is boom nice little lantern coming straight up from nowhere there's no end <laughs> and let's see it in action oh damn that does some good damage so enemies are just coming in here and they get blasted and we get buffs for being in here very nice okay i might have to move this somewhere though because I, I need to check out other weapons well other weapons as in just this last one cruise caller summons a fleet of penguin copters to fight for you now if that doesn't sound amazing i don't know <laughs> i don't know what surprises you or what amazes you go ahead boys take them out oh my god this is amazing the summons creativity is off the charts in this i love it that's why summoner class is my favorite because you can get so creative and i feel like a lot of people really do get creative with summoner classes so when i see like boring summons from mods you know it upsets me a lot but there you go there was a handful of weapons there's a bunch of more great ones obviously we got some time constraints let's check out the armor okay the armor we don't really care about in terms of uh what it does i just wanted to see what they look like uh we'll see you know see set bonuses i'll scroll through these if you guys want to see what they do this looks cool as hell got a little eyeball on me yeah i just i just wanted to see what they do and what they look like because the sprites in this mod they've been all amazing so far i have no complaints at all these are some top tier sprites am i wearing the right stuff frigid robe why does the robe look a different color from everything else but yeah there you go read through that cool cool next up let's put on this patch leather stuff yeehaw oh a little summon summons a flock of flying snakes shout out to my flying snakes am i indiana jones that's got to be what the reference is right snakes too so it's got to be indie next up we got this vibrant armor set here kind of has like a martian plating type colorway type palette and also kind of looks like a mushroom biome palette all right and last armor set we're gonna check out this there's, there's a couple more in the mod but this is the last one i'm gonna check out looking like daft punk but yeah here you go read through that if you want to cool 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 let's get into the next stuff here which is the enemies and the bosses and the biome generation because i know that's what you guys want to see so let's get to it all right let's start with the biome generation so they got a couple of structures around uh starting with spawn this is literally called a starting house uh i don't know if this comes in like different shapes or not but you know you got a nice little starting house here uh there's a little chest at the top planetary analyzer great next up we got this thing over here in the ice biome ice tower there's some loot you can get if you have the key oh, Awesome. Next up, we got Coconut Island, my favorite island. There's a little tablet here. Who knows what this does? You know, don't wanna, don't wanna spoil too much. Even though I am gonna look at pretty much every single boss in this. And then we have the planetarium. We went over the planetarium. Look, there's a couple like things in the sky scattered around too, which is sick. And these are all buying chest one, which is honestly dope that they add that in. And then yeah, of course the planetarium. We saw, it, we saw it. But now let's check out the cursed pyramid this place is sick as hell uh to access it we are gonna have to kill the eater of worlds real quick let me do that all right let's head inside the pyramid here i've activated a bunch of uh, light stuff for us so we could actually you know have a little light sources but yeah the music is bumping you come in here you get a little pharaoh's curse something's watching you spawn rates increase you got some traps and stuff scattered around this place is honestly sick 
I really do wish more Terraria mods adding dungeons. Because, like, it's so fun doing dungeons in Terraria. Especially when you haven't done them before. Look at this. You got a little trap that I just fell into. You got stuff like this. I believe this gives us life crystals. Yeah. But yeah, there's just a bunch of loot scattered throughout. You got this stuff. Infected pyramid grips. Ooh, what's going on? What's infected? Well, obviously, you can kind of see it. Hey, this looks kind of, like, phallic. These are shaped like a little something something. You know what I'm saying? Balls. Shaft. I don't need to say anything else. But yeah, let's get into these, uh, you know, the little poison areas here. Or, uh, what was it? Infected Curse Tumor Block? What a good name for a block. But yeah, we come in here. Let me go ahead and turn on enemy spawns. We, st we should start seeing some creatures. Look at that. Teratoma. Looks cool as hell. Let's kill him. What happens if he dies? Turns into another Teratoma. Damn, he comes back. You gotta kill this motherfucker twice? But yeah, I think you're supposed to go around. You're supposed to, like, break these crystals or something. Uh, because you need the crystals for something else. You know, I don't want to spoil it. Because I want to play this mod in the future. You know, this happens a lot where I want to play the mod eventually. And I don't want to spoil everything. But yeah, let's keep on going around. Let's check out all the different areas. Look at this. Enchanted pickaxe? Pog? But yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of different, like, loot rooms everywhere. It's so sick. And I believe these are completely randomly generated. So it really is cool. And the loot, you know, you get a bunch of cool loot in here. I believe, that was this an Arcalis over here? Or potentially an Arcalis? But I got an Enchanted Sword. But look at this. You got this nice little water room over here. This place is sick. But let's head over here. Let's check out the boss. Uh, I don't think this is the first boss, but you know, let's check this one out anyways. We go ahead and right click on this. Boom. The doors close on all sides. Uh -oh. Pharaoh's curse has awoken. Look at this. Let's let's watch him do a little attack. I don't like that there's desert music playing. Or uh, what is it called? Sandstorm music playing? Because we had some bumping music earlier. What happened to the bumping music? Yeah, we get to see some of his attacks. I am an expert, so he might do a couple more attacks that he wouldn't do normal. And so far, it's sick. I'm loving the attacks. Let's go ahead. Let's do some damage. Get him to low health. See if he changes it up a little bit. Maybe attacks a little bit more frequently. Uh, one of my favorite things about Terraria bosses is when they add more and more attacks the further you go on through the fight. I feel like at this point, if your Terraria boss doesn't do that in your mod, you might be you might be having some pretty bad bosses in your mod. Because nobody likes to fight the same pattern over and over. But yeah, let's go ahead and kill him. We killed him, right? Uh-oh, phase two? Phase two, and it's dark as hell now. All the light sources I had, and now I can't see. Look at this. Look at how sick this fight becomes. Let's go ahead. Let's do some damage. Get him low again and see if there's a couple new attacks or if he just goes a little faster. I like this. This would be hard to dodge, man. Not a lot of room in here. You might have to clear a little bit of room out if you can. But yeah, sick fight. Let's go ahead and kill it if I can grab it. It's moving real fast. And there you go. Pharaoh's Curse. Awesome. Uh, there's another area over here to the right. Look at this. They got like another, what is this, teleporter or something over here? Looks very similar to what we saw over here, as we can see. Oh, speaking about over here, who the hell is this? The Advisor. Okay, on to the next boss. So we got otherworldly constructs. We got to kill these things. And as you can see, we kill them. His leg comes off. One of his legs comes off. So let's go ahead. Let's find all these uh, advisors and stuff. Go ahead and get this man to detach. All right, here we go. We got the last one. Boom, bada, bing. Let's come over here. And now we got a little boss fight going. All the bosses look sick as hell. They're all like fresh ideas and stuff. And it's amazing. So yeah, this is another fight. I'm not going to go through this whole entire fight. You know, I'll just do a little damage. See if we see some new attacks and stuff. But like I said, I don't want to spoil everything. That's sick. Whatever he's doing is sick as hell. These actually look like they would be pretty fun to dodge. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill him. Phase two question mark? No phase two. Alright, good. <laughs> look at these things that are coming over here to attack me. See, it's good that I had enemy spawns off because it gets a little crazy over here. Alright, let's go over the next boss here, which is the putrid pinky. I think I'm gonna just spawn this one straight up in. Boom. Putrid pinky. Look at him. He looks kind of goofy looking. But the music is bumping. That's all that matters. Oh, he's shooting the death beam. He's shooting the death ray. You know, the attack we were using with his weapon earlier. So what do I have to damage? Do I damage his uh, hooks? I'm assuming he's supposed to be like hooked onto the walls or something. Did he despawn? No, he didn't. Okay. <laughs> Let's do a little damage to him. See if we get any new attacks or something. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing a couple new attacks here. He spawns in a lot of these uh, putrid turds everywhere. Let's go ahead. Let's kill him, though. See you later. Drop some peanut butter. Oh, and the peanut butter is a summon? An equipable summon? Ooh, get my little 
own putrid pinky with me. All right, so there's three more bosses to show off here. Two of those three bosses are worm bosses, and you guys know how I feel about worm bosses. But wait, people have told me all the time that the Secrets of the Shadows mod adds in some of the best worm bosses ever. And I recently did a stream, you know, kind of checking out a little bit of this mod, specifically the worm bosses. And you know, people were not lying. We're not gonna check out all the bosses here again. You know, trying to keep things fresh for people that still want to play the mod. What the hell is attacking me? Specifically myself too. I want to keep some things fresh. So we're just going to check out one of the hard mode bosses, aka this one, the subspace serpent. Let's see him in action here. Right away, worm movement already different. He's squiggling around. He's doing a little zigzag. Look at this. That boy is schmoving. Already changing it up. On top of that, he's got cool little attacks you have to dodge. And you can actually telegraph him. Uh, where like the points are where the things are pointing at that's how you dodge them look at this other sick attack you gotta dodge this would be a tough fight this would be a tough fight you gotta clear out a big area to take this thing on and look at this attack this is sick as hell and he's making the screen really dark as he passes through oh my god revolutionary terraria worm fight see if you're gonna have a worm boss in your mod you might as well go all out with the fight but yeah let's do some damage here i believe we gotta hit him in the head or in the tail let's do a little bit of damage not too much you don't want to kill him i do want to see if there's some new attacks though that's that's really what i want to see as you notice uh as i hit certain segments they turn red so i think every segment you hit they literally turn red and there's a couple of them that aren't red that i didn't hit he's getting a lot faster with the attacks or at least it feels like it let's go ahead let's try and uh, deal a little bit more damage here uh, he's gonna make the screen dark oh look at the defeat oh my god even him dying was cool but there you go there's all the bosses we're gonna check out there's six of them in total three in hard mode three in pre-hard mode you love the diversity you love the even numbers too i guess all right let me look at the uh the enemies in the mod though is there anything uh cool we can check out here you know we've seen uh, most of them there's a couple cool enemies here and they're like snake pots look at them literally snakes inside of pots we got a wall mimic what does he do motherfucker just explode <laughs> twilight devil what's he about to do don't tell me you explode too okay that's a pretty cool attack for just a regular enemy that's a cool attack flowering slime this is a cool looking slime look at it got flowers got a little tentacles coming off of it nice sitting mushroom my favorite what a great enemy there's also this guy knuckles oh shoot this is better than the Ugandan Knuckles from the other mod we're checking out? I'm not running, bro. I'm not running. I'm just admiring. Whoa, there's a, there's a lot of them. I did not know they spawn. Hold up. They're starting to multiply. I don't know about this. <laughs> what if I kill one? Oh, God. There's too many. I, I, don't, I don't think I can kill them all, bro. I think the only way out of this is death. So, uh, let's, you know, hop out of God mode here. Take me away, boys. Uh oh. I have the instant respawn mod on. Uh oh. <laughs> oh god it's, the game is like <laughs> i think i crashed the game but yes i hope you guys enjoyed it, this little mod showcase not a review a showcase and hopefully you guys check this mod out man you guys gotta check this mod out it's pure quality it's amazing i guess you could call this a little mini series i plan to do a couple more videos about like mods like this but like believe it or not a lot of people don't know more than just like calamity and quality of life mods there's people that see like thorium and they're like what the hell is this mod it's a true fact you may not believe it you might be one of the people like oh i know all these mods and this and that but there's a lot of people out there that have no idea that there's like any other mods out there but again check out the mod it's amazing shout out the developers and everything i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time